All right, guys, well, here we are. It's the end of July, and everyone's talking hit lists and uh, big summer bucks, but me, I, I just got my trail cameras out like two days ago, so I have no idea what's out there right now. My hit list is basically everything that I found from sheds and trail cam pictures of last year, hoping that they made it through. But today, what I'm gonna try to do for you guys is I'm gonna go on a little bullfrog hunt with the new V3. So I'm gonna set up a target here. Um, you know and get to shooting but figured i could quickly update you guys a little bit on how my summer's been going um i actually went on a boundary waters fishing trip with a couple buddies here uh, memorial day weekend actually and that was an absolute blast time of my life i can see why fitz lives up there because it's unbelievably beautiful but man we slaughtered walleye smallmouth you name it it was just absolute best time of my life i had so much fun doing that but then otherwise been traveling around uh hanging out with friends between weddings bachelor parties uh the occasional crappy round of golf but you know typical typical summer so keeping me busy but i gotta start changing gears think about hunting and whatnot so we're gonna try to get some bullfrogs and you know maybe do a little uh, catch and clean if we can be successful so can't say i've tried it and bow might be a little bit of overkill here it's at 74 pounds i think so 585 grain arrow it ought to blow right on through her but <laughs> you know what i'm gonna have fun either way doing it and i hope you guys enjoy it too so here we go We're gonna get a bullfrog tonight and we're gonna be eating good. Yeah, that'll thump them good. Next time you see me, it's gonna be dark. So here we go. Welcome back. So I figured while I'm here putting my hip waders on, I can tell you a little bit about some of the bucks that I'm hoping are still gonna be on my hit list because we found some sheds off of them and or they're just really big deer last year that we didn't get and don't know if they're still around or not. But one of the most important ones that I'm fingers crossed hoping lived is uh, the grade eight. And that deer was five and a half years old last year and just an absolute giant buck. And unfortunately he disappeared right around the same time that Coke can did. I kind of had a hankering that maybe they got locked together and that was gonna be their fate was losing those two legends of the farm in a fight or something. But we found Coke can dead obviously, which sucked. That one was a very big heartbreaker too. But uh, the grade eight, Still unknown, didn't get any photos of them late season, didn't get any sheds, and typically we do. So I don't have the best feeling about that deer, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens. We had a lot of pictures of them about this time last year. Like I said, I just put my cameras out, so we'll see. But um, other than him, I know out on this farm, we've got multiple other big deer. One in particular, uh, we call daggers. He was the one that I videotaped. Oh uh, gosh, it was midsummer last year too. He was with a bunch of other bucks out in one of these bean fields, but that was uh, one of the top bucks going into last year and never laid eyes on him, but we did find one of his sheds and he's gonna be six and a half this year as well. And he's gonna be an absolute stud. So man, there's just a pile of them out here. Those two are in particular. I know we found a couple sheds, Todd and I did when we came out here. Uh, Holyfield was one of them. There was a big eight point or two that I had found. Um, and a couple random ones here and there in between, but I'm also going to be trying to um, sit on some public land this year. Uh, I stopped running cameras on public land just because they kept getting stolen and I got sick of that. So those are all surprise deer to me and either way, I just like shooting deer off of public. So it um, doesn't really matter too much terribly on size for those deer, but I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun fall, but I don't know if you can hear in the background, the frogs are out here chirping. So. I'm going to quit talking, I'm going to grab my bow, and hopefully we can get a big one. I did hear one while I was getting all the camera stuff set up. It sounded like a big one over this way, so. I see glowing eyes, so we'll go check them out. Just a little guy. But if we get desperate, we might be eating little guys, who knows? All right, well, we just found Jeremiah. He's swimming in the deep end of the pool. So we're going to go put the sneak up on him. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Smoked him, baby. <laughs> We're eating frog legs tonight. If it gets much deeper, I might be going swimming, folks. 
Nice. That's a big old frog. Oh, there he is. First harvest with the V3. <laughs> Definitely wasn't the critter I figured I'd be getting first, but we'll take it. Big frog. Those are some big old legs. Got him right behind the front shoulder. So nice, quick, clean kill. I'll at least be eating something tonight. So sweet deal. We're going to see if we can find a couple more. All right, ready to go round two. That's just grass. Oh, there's one. He's not a shooter. That's like a button buck. That's a better one. Might have to do some sneaking around on him. He's out in the middle though. That might be tough. But we'll give it a try. Well, there's the other big one. But as you can see, he's a very long ways from shore. But I didn't come here to watch frogs. I came here to eat them. So if we got to swim for this one, we're going to swim for him. But he's in a good spot. I'm going to try to get him. Oh, I had no clue. Shot felt good. But that arrow skipped across. Let me grab the spotlight and check it out. Oh, there he is. That was about as hard as trying to track a freaking booner through the brush, man. You can see there's just algae everywhere. And I couldn't tell where the heck I was. But I just grid searched the uh, muck here, and sure enough, we got him. There he is. We'll be right on through him. Another nice one. Two down. Or there were some sacrifices made for that one. Always put in a full effort for your recoveries. Well, all right, guys, here are the two frogs I ended up getting tonight. One is significantly bigger than the other. That guy's gonna have some meat on his bones, but I'm gonna show you how to skin them here quick, and then I'm gonna mix together a little beer batter batch and cook them over the campfire in a cast iron. So it's gonna be a, a sweet little treat, and I can't say I've ever had frog legs before, so found the recipe on the internet, and we're just gonna throw it together and see what it tastes like. Okay, so basically to skin them, all you need is two things, a knife and a set of pliers. And you basically just make a little slit along their back here. Create a little opening where you can get your pliers on there. And you peel them like a sock. Look at that. Boy, those are meaty. Then from there, just gotta cut his feet off. Probably help if I had a little bit sharper knife, eh? Cut his feet off, cut him at the hips. And there you have it. Got yourself a nice set of frog legs. You can divide them in half if you want to, or you can go just cook them whole. I think I'm just gonna cook them like that. Make my life a little bit easier, but then throw the scraps in the sink and peel the next one. All right, well, now that we got the frog legs skinned out and ready to go, we uh, will talk about the spices that we're using. So we're gonna use a little bit of cayenne red pepper um, just to give a little heat. Some garlic salt, onion powder, some pepper, a little bit of flour, um, and the most important ingredient, bush light. Now I made sure to get the 30 pack because you gotta have one for the uh, beer batter, one to have while you're eating the food and the other 28 are for this weekend's bachelor party. So we'll get this stuff all mixed together and then we've got ourselves a nice little cast iron here. I'm gonna fill with some oil and I got a campfire going actually outside and we're gonna cook it up and see what it's like. So I'm not one to measure stuff very often. So I'm just gonna start mixing this stuff, throw some flour, 
Don't spill the bowl while you're doing it. And maybe we'll go a little bit more than that. So some flour. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of that. I don't want much because I want to enjoy my frog, not feel the fire. A little bit of garlic salt. Pour it on heavy with the onion powder because I love onion powder. Hit it with some pepper. And then the best beer of them all, at least here in the Midwest, eh? Some bush light. I need a spoon to stir. I typically do beer batters for my fish, so this is not really new in this case, but first time doing frog legs. What could go wrong? You want to get it where it's a um, decently thick consistency so it'll actually stick to the frog legs. I'm going to go take the canola oil, throw it in the cast iron, and get that hot on the fire, and I'll be back to batter the, the frog legs. So while that oil heats up, I've got the mix together. It's seasoned. So now I'm just going to take them frog legs, give them a dunk. Give them a bath. They're gonna be deep fried and served with pride, man. All right, they're lathered up, they're ready to go. Let's take them to the fire. Grease is hot. Got the frog legs battered up. I'm gonna throw them on the fire here. Make sure they're good and coated. All right, guys, well, I couldn't wait. I had to dig in a little bit, and man, let me tell you, it is unbelievable. Everyone always says it tastes like chicken, and I 100% agree with them. Maybe a little bit tougher, but doesn't bother me any. Deep fried, served with pride, bullfrog, bush light, beer battered frog legs, man. So good, so good. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bow hunter die. Change out of these nasty pants.